What's up guys? Omar Esop here at Fortis Fitness with Sean Kelly, the man, the myth, the legend. Owner of Fortis Fitness. A lot of people have been asking, they want to build their own home gyms, they want to know about these power racks, because this power rack right here is kind of custom built. I understand, Sean. You designed these. I want you to go into detail. Someone wants to build a power rack. What's this? Why is this better than the YOLO one you see at a Planet Fitness? That oh, squat rack. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. The function is really important with a power rack. Um, I, I shouldn't take credit for designing the rack. We Sorry. We, we did design the rack, yes. We did design the rack. But we borrowed um, some of the, the best sort of features from some great racks out there. Yeah, still from, from the some best. great gyms sure. and, and different people. So what yeah, what are some of the features? Just so, go. so any rack, okay, you gotta have nice, strong, secure safeties. Right? Slide in, they ain't going anywhere, yeah. so you're totally safe. Movements like a Romanian deadlift to have them on the end. Sure. Right? So you're looking this way, pick the bar out, there we go. You'll on the squat fail. Good, right? Absolutely. Sean, right. how much uh, how much weight can this handle? Uh, how much weight do you got? Uh, so what, what's the feature of most squat racks you see? There, there's kind of a bigger gap. Why do you go with like the inch increment? Like what's this? Uh, for variability for different people, right? Yeah. Eight feet high to accommodate tall people. You know, taller folks. Obviously, you want to do chin ups on encumbered. There you go. What's this in the middle right here? What's it used for? Give me an example. What's that? Right. So this is important for catch chains. Catch chains um, are not often used. And I don't think enough. Right. You know, Sort of save your shoulders if you're using catch chains, especially for a press. Sure. Um, you know, uh, you can squat with them, do good mornings, all that stuff. So we have a set of catch chains, and you just wind those right around the top here. Um, and also, band assistance work. I can also choke a band. Yeah. Right? So you don't need band hooks when you've got, um, you know, a bar across the bottom and an open bottom here, because I just choke a band. Right. Anywhere I want for band assistance. Sure. I want a bench, I double wrap it around on the bar on the sleeve. With squat mark. It's a really versatile rack. Over here we got an open bottom. Yeah. So I can do sumo, right? Not a big deal, not a problem. I can do sumo. Why is this angled and then what's this? We got two hooks right here. Right. These are really special. I'll start with the standard hooks. Uh, we were pretty specific about these, right? We want them safe. We don't want anybody, want anybody here to lift um, in an unsafe situation. Never really worry about that. Just worry about lifting heavy. Right. So you're sliding these in, opening the pin, sliding them on. They're not going anywhere. Whoops. Now they're not going anywhere. <laughs> Uh, they're on a slight angle, obviously, so once yeah. you get the bar in, it isn't going where anywhere. So doesn't it doesn't just fall over. Now, Basic stuff. These are really special. I've never seen these anywhere else. We had these custom made. We've got a lot of guys in this gym who are really, really big. Uh, it's not just a question of, you know, limited external shoulder rotation. They're just huge guys. Uh, they have a tough time holding the bar um, in a regular rack. So these guys are going to be more suited to a mono lift. They're going to be able to lift freely in that kind of apparatus. But here, they can... Roll the bar easy. As you can see, it's a standard Olympic bar. Instead of getting my hands cramped or caught, right? I can't hold on to the bar. I go wide, straight to the edge of the bar. Right. What's going All right. On Consistency. We're a gym that has 11 racks, right? Yeah. Pretty soon we'll have 18. So if I'm, I don't have a favorite rack. Right. <laughs> this rack is free. Uh, great. But what if I'm used to using the one over there? They all gotta be the same. Yeah. So. We're numbering these holes, right? So you remember sure. your numbers. Standardized. Your bench, yeah. right. You remember where your low point is. Um, it's a little rough, but they get a lot of wear and tear. Wear and tear. Um, Love. Right. That's really important. Uh, the holes are all the same for every rack. So a lot of guys want to build, Sean, their own power rack. They're trying to get ideas. What? Because this is the best power rack I've used. And I mean, you incorporate basically some of the best stuff from other racks into one super rack. What advice would you give if they're trying to either custom build it on their own or maybe buy a rack? What are your top tips from now buying a whole bunch of racks? Okay, they're not going to be able to custom build a rack uh, right. unless their dad's a welder. Oh. What you want to do what do you look for? is just, if, you know, we've listed some great features here. Yeah. Uh, look for the same kinds of features. We took a lot of time to make sure all this stuff yeah. was uh, going to be incorporated into our rack. Yeah. Don't be fooled by the big colorful rack with all the nonsense. The well, biggest thing to avoid with a rack, right? Huge increments. Yeah. Don't 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 do that. Because you'll need small increments to progress, right? Those are really and for somebody else. Your brother wants to use the rack. Friend wants to use the rack. Sure. Somebody tall. Somebody short. Um, the, the holes should go from top to bottom. They should allow you to do really low work, right? Sure. Off the floor if you want to do some holes, whatever. Right. Um, the next thing, really secure, easy, easy to change. Safety pins, vital. Yeah. You don't have to pay a ton for a good power rack. It's just metal. Right. Um, but you know, go to one of the go to one of the top sites or go to one of the 
top distributors yeah. to get the right power rack, a real strength distributor. Don't get a light commercial rack, get a proper heavy duty rack. It'll last you forever. Will you so, pass it on to your kids? So guys, a lot of you have been asking me about the power rack or that you want to build your own or do yourself at your home gym. Just gave an overview of this rack. Obviously the best one I've used, kind of combines the best parts. What you should look for in the rack. Sean was kind enough to fucking dress up today. Show his shoes, show his shoes, man. He dressed fresh for this occasion. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, make sure to like the video. Sean, I want to thank you for being on, my man. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's an honor. He's the humblest guy. And I'll see all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace. This stuff drives us stuff. Look at it. Look at this. Who does this? <laughs> oh no, don't put it on top. Oh no, yeah. Don't Who do does that? that? Yeah, it's horrible. That drives us crazy. Yeah. All day long, I clean the can and I come out and I fix this shit. Yeah. <laughs> there'll be, there'll be Why? Kids. Shut up, what happens if you see a member do that? They're killed or like on the spot? Uh, of course not. Most of them what? are bigger than me, dude. That's what am I supposed to do? Right.